Did you know that 90% of the information transmitted to your brain is actually visual information? And that visuals are actually transmitted 60,000 times faster to the brain than text. I guess it's no surprise that every single day, 300 million photos are uploaded to Facebook. Crazy, right? And also that 21% of people say that after seeing an item on Pinterest, they've actually purchased it. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because it's never been more important for your brand to actually create amazing visual content that'll stand out from the crowd on social media and content that you can repurpose online and offline to really capture your customers' attention. Now the good news is that you don't have to be a graphic designer to create amazing, stunning graphics for your blog, for social media, for your website, for print material, and it's never been easier than now to create them with free tools. I'm about to show you exactly how to create amazing visual content and you can easily leverage to create more traffic, build more loyalty with your fan base, and increase your engagement. So, I'm going to hop behind the computer and show you exactly how to do this. So, are you ready? Come on back with me and we'll get started. Awesome, guys. So, we are here inside of Canva. And as promised, I'm going to show you some design um, ideas or tutorials that you can use to create your own amazing high quality content. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you are not already signed up to um, canva.com, I want you to just go ahead and type that into your browser. Definitely sign up for an account. It's 100% free and um, trust me, you're not going to want to not have an account. So basically Canva, uh, this is a dashboard right here and they already have pre-designed templates for you and they're constantly adding new ones. As you can see, this is a real estate flyer and you have social media posts, presentations, posters, Facebook covers, blog graphics, Kindle covers, Pinterest uh, posts, Google Plus photos, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, there is both uh, templates for online and also offline material. And there's a very interesting distinction between that, and I think um, we'll probably go over that in a different tutorial. But for now, I just want you to see, uh, let's just try a Facebook post as an example. I'm going to click on that. And by the way, if you need, these are already custom dimensions, as you can see, they're already uh, designed, these templates are designed to fit a particular dimension. So the Facebook ad is obviously going to be different than the Facebook post. And uh, usually you'll see that these are going to be a little bit bigger than what Facebook recommends, just because Facebook does compress uh, photography. So it's important that you create a larger design, and, and that pretty much goes for most social media platforms. So we're going to try the Facebook post, but I do want you to see um, an offline material as well. So let's try this real estate flyer so you see what that looks like. Um, and this is basically the editor on Canva. Let me move this a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. So all of these are pre-designed templates that you can completely customize as you wish. And to show you how that kind of works is you can just click on the template that you like course you're gonna have um, pretty much dozens of them on here and they're beautiful they're ready to go or you can start a document from scratch if you like as well so there's a ton of them there so you'd click on the design that you want and then you basically can edit all the elements in it um, here you're probably gonna see a photo holder in the back as a background and you have the option to purchase this particular stock image but you have a one-time use license and all of the stock photography on Canva is just one dollar so that's amazing um, you can definitely replace that image for one of your own and you would do that by clicking on the upload section you're going to have the option to uh, definitely upload your own content or just pull f uh, photos from Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and up upload um, some of my content and I'm going to check my stock photography library. Alright, I'm going to try that one more time. 
Okay, and I'm gonna try something different because you can use these designs for basically anything you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, upload this image right here. Take note of kind of the uh, orientation of the photos that you're uploading. Notice how this is a vertical design and um, we want to use a vertical photos for vertical design uh, backgrounds just because they're going to fit a lot better. Same thing if you're trying to do a horizontal design. You'd want to pick a horizontal photo more like this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up here and as you can see um, it'll go straight into that photo holder that's in the background already created for you. So it's very convenient. And it already has a filter which comes with the template. But definitely um, you can change uh, how the photo displays by double clicking on it. So you can pull it up and uh, resize it a little bit or pull it down. In this case I'm going to pull it up because I think this bottom um, kind of edge of the pool really looks nice. Great. So let's talk about the customizations you can do with photos. Now you're going to notice that uh, this particular graphic has different options and um, let me pull that down for you guys so you can see it a little better. I'm going to add a new design so that we have a little bit more space in terms of the customizations. Great. So I'm going to click on that photo and it's going to give me different options. I can crop that photo and make it smaller. Um, and in this case there's not a lot to crop but if you wanted to you can definitely do that and then click this uh, button right here to OK it and great so it's gonna give me the option to flip it horizontally or flip it vertically and we don't want to do either of those but just an idea of what you can use with it if for some reason you're taking a photo of yourself and the angle isn't looking too great try that horizontal angle I, I honestly have seen um, a lot of my own pictures actually look a lot better when I when I do that flip. Okay. So again, um, different customizations, you can uh, definitely use the transparency to fade that photo in and uh, give it more of a cold um, look with, you know, more of the white contrast in there or you can warm it up um, just to fit the filter that you like. And so obviously you can go ahead and edit the text as you want. Um, you can make this into whatever you please, which is really helpful. Also uh, notice that there is uh, a bold option here where you can bold the letters or you know normal uh, customizations with the alignment of the text, as well as you're able to copy the text box, which is, comes really in handy when you're adding a lot of text. Um, and then you can also change the transparency, move it backward or forward if you have a lot of elements within the design. And um, yeah, that's uh, pretty standard. There's quite a lot of fonts on here that are really helpful. I am really wanting Canva to eventually have a sort of a font library where you can purchase uh, fonts whenever you want, which is really helpful. Um, especially if you already have a particular font that is not uh, inside of Canva. Sometimes it's uh, a difficulty with branding, but for the most part, you're going to find really great uh, fonts on here. So you can change the color as well. All right. And um, you can definitely use this uh, color code to change it and, and match it to your own brand colors as you want. And definitely, you know, obviously change the size, the font, it's really simple stuff. So that's pretty much um, what you can customize. The beauty of Canva is that you have all of these elements that are pretty much free and you can use them as much as you want. So we're going to go over to the search section and you're going to see a library of lines and you're going to see banners over on this side and you're going to be able to see a ton of other elements that you can utilize 100% for free which I think that's phenomenal um, to add. There's everything from grids uh, to frames to arrows to technology buttons. It's amazing. All of it is for free. And whenever you want to add a new element, you can simply uh, click on it right there and you're able to customize it however you want. Just change the size just by dragging, holding um, the cursor and just dragging it up or down. 
move it and place it wherever you want. And so you can see how all of this can come really in handy. Now you will see um, all of the free icons um, or elements have the free symbol on them. And if you scroll a little bit down, um, as you can see, I mean, these are ridiculous. There's so much content on here. But let me, sorry, let me open that one more time. As you keep scrolling down, eventually you'll be able to see some paid um, elements that are, of course, one dollar, and apparently it's not showing up now. <laughs> All right. Well, basically that's pretty much um, where the elements lie now. If you want to look for stock photography, say I want to look for a different photo of a house, I can just click in here, house. Just type in um, a keyword and hit the search button or hit enter. And Canva is going to come up with a bunch of photos. Some of them are free which you can see are uh, icons or actual photography, others are paid. So all of these are just a dollar and you can see some information on there. Um, really interesting, uh, just really interesting stuff. So there's a lot of uh, photos that you can utilize there for just a dollar. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the stock area, stock photography area. So we can move on to text whenever you want to add text. You can uh, definitely just click on there and change the text to whatever font you like, make it whatever size you like, change the color just like you would um, a, a, basically a design that's already um, established or created for you, a template. If you want to start your own design from scratch, all you have to do is click on add new page. In this case, I've already added a new blank page and then I can just literally click on all the things that I want to add to it and just uh, make it as pretty as I want. So it's really helpful, really easy. Uh, most of these uh, text holders, that's what they're called here on the text section, are 100% editable, editable, so I can change this to a completely different month, or I can move the name all together and say something like idea. So um, yeah, it's really easy, really simple. You are going to be seeing a lot of elements that have multiple colors to edit. So as you can see here, I can edit some of the elements to be black and blue, and I can find my own color and make this a lot prettier um, just by changing kind of the colors here. And the cool thing is that it'll save the colors for you. Really easy, really simple. You can just do all kinds of things here. Great. So the last thing that we're going to talk about is the background in terms of this one design. There's a bunch of backgrounds that are available to you for free. All you have to do is click on them to apply them to your uh, design. And you can easily change the color, which is so helpful. Um, if I just wanted to have a black background um, to make that color pop, I hate that combination, but it's just an idea. So you can definitely, you know, play around with the background colors as well as the textures and they are mostly free you will find some paid ones such as this one that's a dollar and the way that you know that there's um, it's a paid item it's it's gonna definitely show you here and sometimes canva put some weird lines on it just to protect the content great so I'm gonna delete this because it looks pretty ugly but um, that's more or less how Canva works. Really simple, really easy. You can go ahead and make that design a little bit bigger if you want to zoom in and touch up some uh, particular details. You can zoom out and uh, just see how that works. Now the last thing that uh, we're going to do is basically how to link and publish your uh, content. So. Canva does allow for collaboration, which is fantastic because you can use that uh, to collaborate with your team. So if you wanted to create a design, this is something that I use with my team all the time, that you really like but you want someone else to tweak it or upload a different photo to it or do something else to it, you can share this link right here with them. Just send them that link and they'll be able to view the design and give you ideas. But if you want them to be able to edit it, then you can just click right here, allow anyone with this link to edit, and it's just going to generate a brand new link for you. Copy that and then the person can go ahead and edit that on their Canva account. Really nifty. So when it comes to publishing, you can um, definitely publish an image. Um, and definitely if you want that to be in an image file, publish it using this little box right here that says image. But if you're going to want to print an item, always uh, 
or I would say not always, but 90% of the time you're going to want to uh, export that as a PDF file. Why? Because um, the print quality is just so much better and um, if you try to print an image versus a PDF file, you are going to end up with a really pixelated um, design just because uh, the, the really just the amount of pixels on it and I mean there's a lot that goes into it. We're not going to get into that. But always remember if you're wanting to print PDF, if you want an image for the web, definitely just uh, click on that button right here. And you, if you want advanced options, as you can see, um, they do allow you to export multiple pages. Um, so this is really helpful in terms of you can create, I believe, is up to 15 designs within one Canva template. I might be lying, it might be 12, I'm not 100% sure, but um, I, and let me clarify, it's within one design. You can create as many designs as you want, but if you want it to be like a series or you want multiple pages or uh, you want to organize your designs, it's easier to just do pages. So you can just say I want to export pages four to five right there or I can say I just want to export page one or I just want to export page one, three, and nine. And that's kind of how you do that and then you can publish with crop marks and bleed whenever um, that's required for printing. So pretty easy, pretty fun. Definitely explore it. You can name your design up here. Um, to this new tutorial test and that's going to automatically save on my dashboard but definitely uh, you can play around with it there's so many cool Facebook posts that I mean all, honestly all you have to do is replace that background graphic and uh, replace this one this text just to make it more unique to you um, and it just looks beautiful so one last thing before we leave that I wasn't able to show you on the previous design is the filters. These are probably my freaking favorite feature ever. It's so helpful. Canva uh, recently released it. It's so cool. So basically you're going to want to look. Um, let's go back. Let's click on that background graphic. Click on filter. And you're going to see multiple filters on there. Just really, really awesome. Um, a little trick that I like to use often on um, quote graphics that, or any design that has a text overlay is to blur the background a little bit just to make that text pop. You see the difference right there when we um, put the blur up to zero and then when we increase it just slightly maybe to a nine it really pops and then you know you can go all crazy with it and create a really random background or um, you can make that background even more crisp. Um, go all the way down. So play with it, get creative, don't just limit yourself to the filters at the top, which there's quite enough of them, they're, they're pretty awesome. Play with the brightness, play, play with the contrast and saturation, also with the tint, and just get crazy with it. I mean, have fun. Um, and uh, yeah, there it is. It's Canva, guys. It's 100% free, and it is redefining how we do graphic design. Now it's available to everyone, and there is no excuse. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to like it, share it, tweet it, Google it um, with your friends and definitely leave me a comment in the uh, comment section below with any suggestions, ideas, or if you want to learn something specific about Canva and you want to ask me a question, go ahead and do that down there. You never know when I might create a video just for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time on Kim TV. Bye guys. Let's <laughs> go.